Okay, so now we're actually up to the part where we have start having some fun. So I'm going to start off, I think, with this cobalt bolt colour, or the, sorry, the turquoise. And all I do is literally pour it on like that. So it's just all over my artwork. Next, I'm going to get this gold colour. Oh, just got on a piece of timber so I could so you guys could see it. I might put this. Now this goldy coffee colour. Okay. So I'll move the camera so you can see. And now the silver. Now I try not to have any big blobs of colour, so as I'm pouring, I try to break up any big blobs with the next colour. So what you're left with is this, but then what I start doing is swirling. And this is the fun part and the whole reason why you use that pouring medium so it actually pours And I suggest if you do my technique, which is the tilting, that you have a bucket handy to catch any dribbles. But what I tend to like to do is have a paintbrush at the ready. And as it dribbles off, I just paint the edge of my artwork with it. Now as I'm doing this, I'm just realising that I've got a lot of pink on one side of oh, that coffee colour and I've got a lot of blue on the other. So what I'm going to do now is get rid of this piece of timber. I'm going to add some more of this blue and let's try, oh, let's finish up using this one actually. I'm going to add some more of this turquoise on this side and the good thing about the high flow acrylic so more of that one there what I'm going to do on the other side where it's got too much blue rather than using some more high flow acrylic so I think I've got enough of it on there to spread I'm going to use this straight the gold and then you get these really cool blobs of real shimmer on your artwork And just really flick that around. I'll show you what I've done. This is what it currently looks like. And let's get swirling again.
and then you can see what I'm doing. I collect some of the colour and I flick it on as I go. 